Kyoto and Shimari come from Kyoto from Amoi Prefecture. Dream will come a Maeko, but at the unexpected turns of it, Kyo starts working as their living cook at the Mako house. The story unfolds in the Keiji, the Gekko, and Maiko district in Kyoto, along with their housemates, Maiko. Kyo nurses their daily them nurses them daily with home cooked meals, and Shimura strives towards her promising future as one in a century Maiko. Step into the glamorous Kaiji warms your heart behind the scenes antecedents and Kyo's kitchen episodes. Stay tuned for this touching tale of two childhood friends lifting each other up as they grow together. This anime has about 12 episodes. It premiered February 25th, 2021 to June 27th, 2022. Based off of a manga series, it is Shoujin. Each episode is 25 minutes per episode, but at PG-13. Let's get started into the review. What I really like about this anime, we follow the tale of two best friends as they go the two different paths, while one best friend, Shimmer, goes the path of a Michael and hope to become a geisha, while her other best friend is the live-in cook at the same share house together. What I find really fascinating, besides like the home-cooked meals that Kyo cooks for the girls and her best friend, she sees them go through the daily tasks of what it's like to become a Michael, from getting the hair done, to the makeup, to them going to entertain guests and come back home to cook them breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Even some of a midnight snack they come home late, but she takes care of each of the girls as they go through their daily jobs, and as both of them are growing up together, especially when these two girls are in middle school together, they help lift each other up, no matter what the other one is going through, and is there to be a confidant on in case they are going through something that they can't tell the other girls. Now, with each of these episodes, I find really intriguing, besides the lovely, lovely description of the food and how it is displayed, I think seeing these two friendships, especially right here, Kia and Shimmery, as they talk together and try to combine each other, like what's wrong, and like, you know, they are there to pick each other up. And like I said, their friendship develops over these 12 episodes, which I thought was really fascinating. And I thought that shows like their well developed bonds as friends. And I really appreciate that dynamic that these two have together. And I think it's really interesting to see, even though they're both on different paths and they both wanted to be my close together. Sometimes fate doesn't always work out that way, but it was really nice and refreshing to see that they're still together and nothing will truly like tear them apart when it comes to, you know, striving for the best for each other and, you know, able to have days off. And it's kind of interesting to find like the ins and outs of the Michaels and the Geisha, like what they can and can't do. Like for Michaels, as you hear, they use their own hair to make their adorning uh, headdress. While geishas can wear a wig, so when I think that it shows similarity between the difference between these two factions, and it explains very well with the history and details. And like, I love like the dish of the day segment that's in between each of the episodes to separate them. They are stunning because it gives like a little description of how Kia makes the recipes and like what are they from for different prefectures and the different significance of it, which I really like a lot. Um, I think it's also interesting that if you see more of the senior. Michael, they're like older sisters, so that's why he pictured them here with the little cover sashes that they wear on the kimonos. And they all have the interesting um, personality and quirk, but their headpieces are almost similar or the same, just depending on the season, the event, and the time when the Michaels go out to do their jobs. And also, what I like for about Kyo, like even though she's the cook, they still treat her as she's like another member of the family, like they don't treat her any different. And sometimes, if there's no one to help her, she'll do all the chores and do all the cooking, the cleaning. You know, doesn't mind lending helping on to get the girls a nice home cooked meal when they come home after a long day of work and standing or, or doing what they need to do as Mike goes. And I think that's really fascinating and seeing like that our development blossom over the course of these like 12 episodes, which I really love a lot. It's like the details, the environment, and the character are all stunning. And I can't wait to read the manga of this because sadly there is no second season. So. I am sad about that, but if you love an anime that shows like the gourmet things aside and also a good storytelling and that family friendship between two girls who are on two different paths but still are striving to support each other, no matter what comes their way, I think this is the anime for you. I definitely get it like a 9 out of 10. I loved it. Get like I would, I'm definitely going to rewatch this again at the first recording episode, but definitely check out Kyo in Ke Kyoto from the Michael House and let me know what you think. And see you real soon for another anime review, but until then... Bye.